Searching is a thriller set entirely on smartphones and computer screens, and it is about a desperate father trying to find his missing 16-year-old daughter with the help of a police detective. 37 hours after her disappearance, and without a single lead, the father decides to search the one place no one has looked yet and where no one had access to until now, his daughter's laptop. Looking through her online history, he realizes he might not have known her as well as he thought he did, and he finds himself in a possible race against time to find her before she disappears forever. The director of this film has said that the main idea was to sort of tell this classic suspense story in an unconventional way and without it being too gimmicky. And gimmick is really the magic word here, folks. I mean, it is 2018 and I myself personally have really gotten pretty fucking sick of these found footage new movies. I mean, when I saw that these sort of desktop, laptop sort of thrillers like Unfriended were starting to gain popularity, I really thought to myself that, wow, we have really sunk to a new low, haven't we? But it have to take searching to come along to completely shatter my preconception. The seven minute opening of this film is highly impressive. Apparently the filmmakers pitched it as something between the Pixar movie Up and a Google commercial. And indeed it is very similar to the opening scene from Up in which we have the, the relationship between the main character and his wife presented to us in this sort of time capsule if you will. From the very beginning when they met as children all the way up to their marriage and eventually to her death. And it really does a great job at grounding the film into something very emotional. And we have something similar in Searching as well. We see approximately about 10 years out of the life of this family, documented through photos and through online videos posted on YouTube. We get to see computer technology and websites evolving, and we get to see this little girl growing up, basically, from starting kindergarten to starting school to taking up piano lessons and basically having a great life with her parents. But it all culminates with the passing away of her mother that's communicated to us, the viewers, with a mom's coming home date removed from a calendar. This film really shines from the very beginning. It does an excellent job at delving this emotional blow in a very short amount of time with very limited resources of storytelling. The filmmakers really knew that we were going to sort of doubt this film from the very beginning, so they really wanted to impress us from the start. And I would even go so far as to say that this film is actually a masterpiece in editing and in storytelling in the digital age. Now while this story is told through smartphones and computer screens and all that, you know, technology that has really become an integral part of our lives only during the past 10 to 15 years, deep down the mechanisms of storytelling used in this film are really not all that unfamiliar to the way, you know, like an Alfred Hitchcock or an M. Night Shyamalan tell their stories. You know, it's always about the camera focusing in on very specific details, you know, like, like a hand coming at you with a knife or a shadow appearing over something, you know. Thriller films in general really don't give us a very objective view of things. It's always the director letting us see all he, want, he wants us to see, but there's always the occasional hidden information that's just visible enough, just noticeable enough if you're paying close enough attention. The film is really a mixture between two techniques. One is when we have the camera following the mouse cursor around, and the other is when we are left to be more independent, when we are seeing the whole computer screen as if we were the character. And it's really an attempt to make the film as cinematic and as dynamic as possible, and to really create the illusion of a larger world, because it works so fucking seamlessly that when I, uh, when I saw the film I actually thought to myself that, hey, this really doesn't look so hard to do, I bet even I can make a film like this. But after doing some research I found out that I sure fucking couldn't, because they worked for two years on this film, and they only filmed with the actors for 13 days, the rest of it was all editing and, and pre-production and, and post-production and all that, and it worked so fucking seamlessly that you would actually think that all they had to do was to make screen captures on laptops, but it turns out that's not what they did at all. They actually built the whole film completely from scratch. They actually didn't screen capture a single frame, because it just wouldn't have worked. They really had to have full control, and they also really had to have the, the possibility to actually direct the film even in post-production. They actually animated the mouse cursor, and it really does a great job at, at giving away during certain moments what the characters are feeling because you sometimes see characters like using the mouse and, and hesitating you know like before opening a file or opening a video or before deleting a file or something you see them sort of something certain times like hesitating like going going to the file with the mouse and then just stopping right before reaching it you know and the film is really full with these very small moments that really really give away a lot about the characters and a lot about the way they are feeling and the editors really needed to have the possibility to truly edit this film just as you would any other regular film film, you know, because there are a lot of conversations that take place in this film, you know, via FaceTime or through Skype or stuff like that, and they really needed to be heavily edited, you know, they had to take certain shots out of certain takes, they had to use certain performances and combine performances together, they had to create pauses during certain performances and reduce pauses during others, and you know, just that just wouldn't have worked, uh, you know, if they used the screen captures, you know, they really had to make sure that they were going to create a very well-paced and very effective suspense film, one in which the plot really 
really feels like it's constantly moving forward. And I also found out while, while doing my research that they actually didn't use regular webcams, they actually used GoPros for some reason. But don't be fooled folks because while indeed this film is excellently made on a technical level and it does have sort of a typical plot for a thriller, it definitely works. I mean it's a great story, it's very unpredictable, the acting, the acting is excellent and it works. It also has a healthy dose of social commentary to it. It says a lot about the traces we leave on the internet, about how they can be traced back to us and about how basically everything that's on the internet stays on the internet, motherfucker. It also says a lot about the impressions we try to create online and how unrealistic and also how misleading they can be. So pretty clever stuff here. I highly recommend this film without a single doubt. So thanks for watching my review folks. As always, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll uh... Hey now, what the balls?